Did you yeah. know that? Did you know this used to be a tourist town? Hey guys, it's Kyle with Whistle Realty Group and everything East County. Did you know that there used to be a train station right here in the heart of Lakeside? Ran all the way from Lakeside to downtown San Diego. We're meeting with Gary with Lakeside Historical Society. We're gonna learn all about it. Gary, how are you, my friend? Good to meet you. I'm excited to be out here because part of our new show, Everything East County, is we want to tell everybody everything about East County, especially some fun little facts they maybe didn't know. So we're standing here. There's a train behind us. There's a train. So what are you going to teach us about today? Well, I'm going to teach you that the train came to Lakeside because people wanted to come to Lakeside and they needed a better way to get here. The train got to town in 1889, a few years after the town was established. It ran regular uh, service from uh, downtown San Diego to here, up to eight trains a day. It cost 85 cents one way, and it cut down the wagon trip from uh, an entire day to about 90 minutes. Wow. Very cool. Big improvement. And so talk to me about this building that we're in front of right now. This building was actually built in 1912. The uh, builder was a train, uh, the station agent for the train depot, and uh, he bought this property built a candy store and confectionery, so he also sold ice cream, and then he built his house right behind here. Okay, very cool. It looks like the building's been restored a little bit. I used to own a property right around the corner from here, and I don't remember it looking like this, so talk about some of the restoration that's been done. Yes, it really fell into ruin, and there was some kind of big plant uh, overgrowing the front, uh, the false front, which is pretty significant. So uh, we got a hold of one of our artists in town, David Ibarra, and uh, contracted with him to fix this place up and paint it up really nice because people always asked about this building. It's obviously old and they wanted to know what it was about. So we decided to uh, improve the look and uh, give people an idea of what it used to look like. Yeah, so let's go over to the candy shop. Let's okay. check it out. Great. Here's the candy shop. Opened in 1912, candy, ice cream, all that fun stuff. What else was it used for? Well, after uh, the train stopped coming to town, they uh, used it for a church for a while. And then after that, it was the uh, office of the Lakeside Irrigation District, which was dealing with all the water issues uh, in town. And uh, it was that for quite a bit of time. And then it became vacant and just kind of fell into ruin. Nobody was using it for, for a long time. All right, very cool. And so then the train tracks were standing out here, 67's right in front of us. So the path kind of hugged where the 67 yes. runs through right now? In fact, most of the 67 was railroad right of way until uh, the railroad gave it to uh, the uh, state highway. System. But the train used to come down here and then it would kind of, uh, it moved off towards Moreno Valley and uh, went all the way to a little town called Foster that was at the base of what is now the San Vicente Dam. Okay. And then people would get off there because it was the end of the road. They'd get on the stage and go to Ramona or Julian. All right. So this is the old depot. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the story behind the depot. Okay, this is actually the second depot uh, for the area. It was built in 1912 to 1913, and uh, Spreckles, John D. Spreckles, actually owned the railroad at this point, and he got one of his uh, favorite architects, Eugene Hoffman, to design this and build it. And originally, it was uh, canted about 45 degrees away from this street uh, to be parallel with the railroad tracks. Right. But once the tracks uh, were eliminated, they moved it to parallel uh, this street. That was part of the design, the, uh, the sculptures, and they were original part of the building, and uh, the owners over the years have taken good care of them, and uh, so they look just like they did uh, in 1913 when the place opened. Do you know how many people on an average day came through the depot? Well, uh, not exactly, but the numbers dwindled because as uh, Lakeside grew, um, fewer people were coming here, and the the train was uh, used more for freight right. because we had quite a few businesses here, dairies, uh, orchards, farms, and the train was a way to get uh, the produce and other uh, commodities out of Lakeside quickly. Okay. And then I know Mary's Donuts is right behind us, yes. um, so the Lakeside Mary's Donuts, and so there used to be a lumber yard there. Here. Yes, right behind there, uh, there was a big lumber yard which was tied into the railroad. In fact, uh, some tracks went right through there so they could get the, the lumber coming in and out uh, directly to the storage areas. Okay, and then there was a big hotel in town too. Yes, actually at the south end of town, um, it, it was built same time the town was created. Big, uh, it was called the Lakeside Inn, and it was uh, built here so people would come to town and do something. Yeah. 
tourists mostly. It was a resort town. Yeah. People would come out and the lake was right next to it, so they would hunt, fish, boat, hike, and uh, that's why people came to town. It's interesting that uh, you don't think about those things about Lakeside anymore, that yeah. uh, people came here just to have a vacation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why we're doing the show. Yeah, Did you yeah. know that? Did you know this used to be a tourist town? <laughs> and so, Gary, if somebody wants to learn more about the history of Lakeside, you're part of the Historical Society here. Where can they get more info? Well, uh, they can call uh, 619-561-1886, uh, or they can stop by our offices. We're open pretty much uh, Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 2. All right. And we're right in downtown Lakeside at the big old church. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group and Everything East County. Hope you guys learned something today like I did about the train that used to run through East County here into Lakeside. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Food for Thought.